Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and today I'm very excited to bring you the new Moonstone, the world's first 45 watt 4x4 mini PC from the company that brought you the world's first 35 watt 4x4 mini PC. And as we normally do, we're gonna do an unboxing. And one thing about the box, this is our new packaging, and it reduces uh, waste while still providing good security for the uh, product. Inside the box is a shelf, and under the shelf is our 120 watt power supply with a US cord or a cord for your country. Additionally, there is our Visa mount plate with the screws, and there is a quick start guide. As usual, we'll start with the front, and starting from the right side, we have one of our two microphone holes for our dual phase array microphones. Then we have the illuminated power button, followed by the 3.5 millimeter four pin HD audio jack that does support HD uh, headphones or a headset. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A port for full 10 gigabit USB, as well as a USB 2.0 uh, port type A. There is a second uh, microphone hole and there is consumer IR on the front. Next we'll go to the left side. On the left side we have a micro SD card slot and we have an area for air ingestion plus for the first time we have exhaust air exit on the left side. So this unit actually has two a hot air exhaust because it is a 45 watt processor and requires additional cooling. On the right side, we have a large air ingestion area as well as our Kensington lock. Now looking at the back, we'll start off with the uh, power cord retention clip you loosen the screw, wrap your power cord around and tighten it up and then plug the power cord in and that prevents it from being pulled out. It accompanies a 5.5 by 2.5 DC jack. Next we have two HDMI 2.1 TMDS compliant ports which both support up to 4K at 60 Hertz. There are also two type C USB 4.0 alternate display port, which support daisy chain monitors, supporting up to multiple 4K at 60 Hertz or a single 8K at 60 Hertz monitor. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports and both support 10 gigabit. And then in the middle is our 2.5 gigabit ethernet. Along the top, you can see the hot air exhaust uh, this is in addition to the one on the left side. And then along the bottom is our IO expansion panel. The IO expansion panel can be used to expand the IO capability of the Moonstone. Whether that be an HDMI capture or SDI capture, or whether it's additional USB ports, or even HDMI video ports. The top lid is removable and it is consistent with the Intel Nook lids, which allow you to replace with both functional and cosmetic lids. As you can see from the top, there's a large air ingestion to cool functional electronics like a PoE lid or HDMI capture. You can also see the two antennas uh, for the Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5 uh, Wi-Fi card. One of them has the Bluetooth and both of them uh, support the Wi-Fi 6. There's a hole for functional lids cords to be run in through the top and plug in inside. Next, we'll take a look at the bottom. The bottom has four recessed holes for mounting a 2.5 inch drive and two screw holes for mounting the shoulder screws for the visa plate. Next, I'll put on my anti-static smock and we'll open it up and take a look at the inside. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more Simply Nook content. 
And don't forget to leave a comment or question below. As always, anytime you open up a, a computer, there are static sensitive components that you could damage. So I've put on my anti-static smock, have my wrist strap, and we have our anti-static table. Uh, the bottom drive cable has been removed. This is a prototype unit, but I do want to show the bottom plate real quick. This is the 2280 SSD cooling. And then the two and a half inch drive uh, bolts in here. The ribbon cable is normally plugged into the uh, motherboard. So very easy to add your 2.5 inch drive and um, good cooling for your 2280 SSD. Next, we'll take a look at the inside of the unit. We have two DDR5 4800 DIMM sockets for up to 64 gig of memory. There's a 2280 M.2 that supports PCI Express Gen 4 SSDs. The 2230 M.2 slot supports the Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5 radio and can be removed for security applications. There are four pin Molex Pico Blade connectors for USB 2.0, one 10 pin Molex Pico Blade for USB 3.0, a nine pin Molex Pico Blade for RS-232. These internal connections allow you to expand more I.O. into the I.O. expansion panel or into a lid. The system also has a TPM 2.0 module, which allows you to use encrypted OS's or for drive encryption. This is by far the highest I.O. density of any 4x4 mini PC on the market. We're very excited to bring you the Moonstone. The Ryzen 5 with its 660M graphics or the Ryzen 7 with its 680M graphics is great for desktop replacements, even playing AAA gaming titles. And the Ryzen 9 with the 780M graphics is great for video production, editing, rendering, playing AAA titles, or doing high-end business work. All three models are great for digital signage, and offer Infinity capability for binding the four monitors together as a single video wall. The Ryzen 9 with the 780M graphics at 45 watts is the most powerful mini PC you've ever seen, much less in a 4x4 package. Head over to Simply Nook and custom configure your Moonstone today.